Good morning, everybody. I wanted to share something with y'all today. We picked up yesterday. Dale uh, found this for us. It's a uh, it's a 1934 or a 1936, I believe. Dale said, "Singer sewing machine. It's uh, the foot pedal type. All you do is pump it, makes your sewer work, and uh, no electricity required." So I thought that was pretty neat and. Uh, Debbie wanted one, so we found this one, and uh, actually it's in really, really good shape. The uh, uh, leaf on the left-hand side folds up. The uh, Right in front of the sewing machine, it's got a little deal that opens back up. The sewer lays down into the case. You close your case back up, and it looks just like a little uh, writing table. So, But anyway, I remember my Granny Margaret using one of these things. I don't know how many miles she pedaled on that darn thing. But anyway, in case of a power outage, that's, that's something that's pretty neat. And we'll just use this piece of something in the house, too. But anyway, let's go out here. Beautiful day this morning. Uh, here's our food storage room. I was telling you guys we had put on a new addition. You can see it to the right. See the difference in the color between the two rooms. Let's go inside real quick and I'll give you a quick look around. Uh, bless the mess. Uh, we've been tracking in and out, uh, and still got some stuff we've got to put up. Throw my lock on the ground. Anyway, let's go inside here and see what we got. Get us some light going. This is the original room, and uh, we've moved stuff around. I really can't get all of it. I'm as wide as I can get. But anyway, just some of our food store stuff, lanterns and uh, lantern rebuild kits, uh, syrup just canned goods. Debbie with her a few cokes stored. There's some of our canned meats and hot sauce. And this is the room that we added on to get some light going in here too. And again, we're just still kind of finishing up. But here's the walkway going through from the original room we had and to the new room. You can see all of our canned goods that we've canned here at the house. The shelving we've built, more canned goods. And this is our medicine cabinet we just put in. And it was an old hat rack a buddy of mine built for me. 20 years ago probably. I've kept that darn thing and Debbie's thought it at me to move it around the house and everything else and uh, I kept it and ended up putting it in the shed and covered it where it'd stay okay and uh, anyway when we started putting this one together this room I thought to myself you know what that'd make a great medicine cabinet so let's pop the security doors this keeps the people that shouldn't be in it out they couldn't want in it very bad or they wouldn't stay out, would they? But anyway, we put little shelves in and everything. We're not carpenters, but they're doing what they're supposed to, and that's dividing areas in that shelf. So, this is it. Uh, what we did, we run 110 in this room, 110 in this room. There's your AC. This is a uh, 8,000 BTU in our original room, which was plenty. It was a 12 by 10 or 12 by 12. I'm sorry Then this one we've stepped up. I think this is a 10 or I think it's a 10,000 BTU Anyway, what I did I went with a bigger model because now I Will turn the one in the original room off just to unplug it and I'll just use this one Then in case we ever have a lightning strike or anything else that may knock this one unit out then we'll have our spare over here. So anyway, we'll use it as a spare and I thought let's go ahead and do it. And uh, you know, these things have gotten to the point they're not really that expensive anymore. So we just went ahead and decided to put two in and then we got a spare. So anyway, Deb threatens to, uh, she knows I love to eat and it's pretty obvious. But this is where she says she will uh, lock me up when I start acting up and I told her, guess what? This is right where I want to be. Put me a little TV and uh, a porta john, and I'll be happy. A little cot, you won't hear a peep out of me. I'm content. But anyway, guys, this is what we did here in Florida. Uh, it's hot, it's humid. 
uh, we were keeping this stuff in one of our spare bedrooms and uh, I actually literally almost filled the darn thing up as y'all can probably imagine. And Debbie's a good sport and you know she advocates doing all this that we do and uh, so but she said Doug I'd like to have something else. So anyway what we did we built the original room and then um, she suggested a couple three weeks ago let's do another addition then she can get a lot of her other stuff out of the house into here. So anyway, that's again what we've done. But the reason we did this above ground is here in Florida. I actually attempted to do one below ground. And we got it down about six foot in the ground. I was going to have about a two foot lift in the yard. Once we covered everything with dirt and we built the, man, we made it strong. And we got a rain and guess what, guys? I had water in my shed. Luckily, we were just building it. So we had to dismantle that building that was going to be in the ground and uh, take it all apart, stack our lumber, and then we built the 12 by 10 out of it, uh, the original building here. But they told me I couldn't do it because of the water table, and I'm one of these guys, you just got to show me. And uh, so that's what I did. I went ahead and attempted it, and sure enough, now there are spots, good, good high places with good sandy soil. You can do it. North Florida, I'm sure you can up there. And I'm sure there's areas down here you could. Uh, there's actually a, uh, uh, what do they call it down here? Dad coming. I'm doing a video and lost my train of thought. It's a sand ridge. There's a sand ridge here. And uh, the sand ridge is actually about, I don't know, quarter mile off our property. And uh, actually there are spots where we're probably within two or 300 yards of it. But anyway, if I'd have been on that sand hill, then I probably could have done it in spots. But anyway, the water table is, but, but again, this costs us about 25 bucks a month on our light bill to run this air. And that was through August of last year. Now, this unit is just a hair bigger, so it may be a little more. But like I said, but it works real well. We've got it very well insulated. Uh, two inch fiber board uh, laid down first. We did everything out of two by six studs. And then we came on top of the two inch fiber board insulation with uh, a good R19 value rollout insulation. So it's double insulated, floors, walls, ceiling, and uh, we could literally make it a freezer if we wanted to. We, we, we could change the units out and, and uh, hang meat in here probably. So anyway guys, I just want to show you a little bit of what's going on and why we did it and this is what we ended up with, but it actually works real well for us. Listen, if you guys haven't, think about putting some rice and beans up. If this economy turns worse than what it is, or we get inflation and these food prices go sky high, a little bit of this kind of stuff goes a long way. Start your small garden. Doesn't take a big area, but see the produce we've got off of ours. And uh, there's uh, peas, more peas. There's some meats and uh, chickens that we've canned. Uh, those are stews, green beans over in the corner, squash, butter beans, black-eyed peas, and more peas. Uh, here we have, let me see, canned sliced green tomatoes. That Bonnie in North Carolina told me how to do these. As you know, as your tomatoes start going out, then there's a problem with you've got so many coming in that you can't keep up with them. And uh, so what we did, once our plants started going, the sun started scalding them, we picked them uh, green, sliced them, give them a hot water bath, and uh, Bonnie says to take these things out. Back up just a little bit. Take them out and uh, batter them just like you would in your flour and then throw them in the grease and there's your fried green tomatoes. She said they're not quite as good. That's fresh right out of the garden, but she said they are real good. So anyway, I thought that was a great idea. And there's some onions and some peppers that we've canned and there's some store-bought jellies and some little homemade jellies we've made. So but anyway, I'm gonna cut it off guys and uh, there's some of the uh, soap up top and uh, shampoo, bandages. Uh, some alcohol and peroxide but anyway we're just doing a few things that we feel if it turns real bad then we've got a way that we can we can feed our family at least for a while and some of our good friends and our employees so anyway guys y'all have a great day and uh, God bless all of you